Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. It's not over till it's over. The emotions run too high in situations like these. You know, I've trained myself to not be too overly emotional. I was doing a live stream during the election, of course, and anytime some early voting results would be released, people would start panicking. Oh, it looks like Ron Johnson's losing to Mandela Barnes. Relax. It's 10 to 15% of the vote. It's the early vote. It doesn't mean anything. Things can change. Every single Republican candidate was losing during the early vote portion. You need to let the votes trickle in. And of course, looking at Arizona, it was quite scary initially. I think four or 500,000 votes dropped in a single instant, 20 to 30 minutes after the polls closed, and it showed Carrie Lake behind significantly, down 11 points, if I'm not mistaken, trailing Katie Hobbs. Everyone, of course, pushes the panic button. Relax. Because as the votes continue to trickle in, just like we saw in the Republican primary, Carrie Lake is surging. In fact, she is far exceeding the margins that she needs in the most recent vote drops to take this thing home. And it might even be enough to make the Blake Masters race competitive. We're not going to go that far just yet, and we're not even going to go as far as saying that Carrie Lake is going to win. But what we will say is that it's not over, not even close, and Carrie Lake is making some serious gains. Let me show you guys what's going on. Let's talk about it. We'll talk a little bit about what's going on in Nevada as well. We've got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. All right, folks, so we know that it started off real shaky. The initial results hit, and it looked something like this. With the CBS News estimate going from toss-up to now lean Democrat, Katie Hobbs, the woman who refused to debate, the Democrat candidate who didn't even really run a campaign, was ahead of Carrie Lake by nearly 200,000 votes, with around 4 40% of the votes being reported. How could it be most people were questioning and with good reason? Well, it didn't exactly hold up. In the middle of the night, while we were all sleeping probably, a Maricopa County dump came in and Carrie Lake's position is now improving, Kyle Becker reports. Lake now trails Hobbs in Maricopa County by a slimmer 53 to 47% margin and 59% reporting. Lake may now be on pace to outperform Donald Trump 2020 and look solid in red counties. So now shaping up for a strong finish and I'd say that's underselling it, because the more these drops came in, the more astonishing it looks for Carrie Lake's campaign. We're talking about Maricopa County, not exactly a red stronghold. Carrie Lake tweeting at nearly 4 o'clock in the morning Eastern Time, election update, brand new election day vote of 137,000 ballots from Maricopa County is huge for Carrie Lake, splitting for Carrie Lake at 76% and 23% for Democrat Katie Hobbs. She doesn't even need this margin to win. And as we were predicting, it seems as though Blake Masters is following. Twitter user Garrett Archer, or the Arizona ABC 15 data guru, posted a data batch breakdown of 55,000 ballots. Carrie Lake leading 70% to 29% for Katie Hobbs, and Blake Masters following a very similar trend with 68% to 30%, and basically down ballots splitting around 70 to 30 for Republican candidates. Blake Masters seems to be underperforming slightly, which isn't exactly surprising. I mean, Mark Kelly is a decent candidate, and what I mean by that is mostly due to the image that they've crafted for Mark Kelly. He's going to be a tough guy to unseat, that is just a fact, and with all the character assassination that Blake Masters has been facing with all the despicable ad campaigns, it's not surprising that it's going to be a tough road for Blake Masters. But with these kinds of ballot drops in places like Maricopa County, he's not out of this race just yet. Richard Grinnell breaks down the data for Newsmax. We started last night with about a million ballots left. Those are almost exclusively election day voters, which we know are traditionally Republican. The last four or five dumps of these votes, taking us from a million down to about 450,000 where we are right now. Out of those 450,000, at least, if you calculate that we are winning, let's take the lowest percentage of the night that we've seen, 60%, 65. All three of these candidates are going to win, including Secretary of State Mark Fincham. I, I am absolutely confident that Kerry Lake will be governor of Arizona, Abe Hamaday will be the attorney general of Arizona, and I believe that we are on the cusp of seeing Blake Masters completely upset the East Coast media 
And so look, it's important to be realistic here to not get too excited too early, but it really is looking like there are some major positives from the 2022 midterms. The Rust Belt was a disaster. We're not going to deny that. Georgia was underwhelming, at least in the Senate race, but Arizona might be flipping red. In fact, it might be following the Florida trend. We don't know this absolutely, but it's looking like that might be the case. And great news that follows with 75% of the votes in, in the state of Nevada, Adam Laxalt is leading Catherine Cortez Masto by by three points. And in the governor's race, Joe Lombardo leads Steve Sisolak, Democrat incumbent, by nearly five points. Nevada is looking red. It's almost like this little desert region is shaping up to be the anti-California. Well, at least when it comes to the governor's races, as you guys can see right over here, the betting odds have Kerry Lake winning against Katie Hobbs at 85 to 15, and Joe Lombardo to Steve Sisolak at 77 to 23. The Senate races, of course, are a little bit more sketchy. And again, we're flying blind here. Here we have no idea what's really going on. Getting 2020 flashbacks with the New York Times reporting, counting all the votes in Nevada could take days, election officials say. Election officials in Nevada say that they have been flooded by thousands of mail-in ballots and that it may take several days to count the votes and upload the results. So what results do we have so far? Is it in person? Is it early vote? Have the mail-in ballots been counted? Are we going to see massive changes as we get to the later percentages of the votes? We have absolutely no idea because Arizona and Nevada cannot get their act together together can't even conduct a normal proper election it's completely unacceptable that it may take days if not a week to get the results of an election in such small states meanwhile florida was done counting all their votes in a couple hours so of course it's going to be an emotional roller coaster it's going to be back and forth and back and forth but at the end of the day joe lombardo and carrie lake are looking solid and the senate seats are still in play currently the ballot drops are breaking for republicans across the board at extremely high margins the question is, will it be enough? And will there be a last second Democrat ballot surge? We'll have to see, but this thing ain't over until it's over. And I'd say the most important thing and the one thing that I'm following the closest is the Katie Hobbs Carrie Lake race because the world needs Carrie Lake. The world needs more of this. I'm going to not only be the governor of Arizona for four years, I'm going to do two terms. I'm going to be your worst <laughs> freaking nightmare yeah. for eight years. And we will reform the media as well. We're going to make you guys into journalists again. So get ready. It's going to be a fun eight years. I can't wait to be working with you guys. Right. For the, for the and less of whatever's going on with coward Katie Hobbs, because like I keep saying, more people like Ron DeSantis and Carrie Lake is the key it's going to be the catalyst to moving towards this new conservative age that's what i got for you guys though it ain't over till it's over hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe to the channel i'm gonna get out of here thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one